Hello everyone. Today we have a very interesting problem from complex numbers and algebra. So if you are new to algebra and complex numbers, you may find this a little difficult. But please follow along and I think you will understand what's happening. The given data in this problem is there is a complex number z such that z to the power 25 is 1 z to the power 25 is 1 and it's also given that the imaginary part of z is not equal to 0 what this basically means is that if you think about the argand plane or the complex plane basically the xy plane you can think of it like that and every complex number z is x plus i y or you can write it as a coordinate x comma y now this part is called the real part of z and this part is called the imaginary part of z so you can think of a complex number as a point on the plane it's given that the imaginary part is not zero, which basically means that this y right here is not zero. So it's a point not on the real line on the x-axis, but it's it's a point in the plane. Some something like that. So it's a z. And it's given that if you raise z to the power 25, then you get 1. With this information, we have to find out the summation of z to the power k from k equal to 0 to 2023. If I write it down in an expanded manner, it's z to the power 0, z to the power 1, z to the power 2, up to z to the power 2023. We want to find out the value of this sum. Okay, so how do we solve this? Now, at the center of this problem, there is a factorization from algebra that is very powerful. So, let me first talk about that. So, if you look at the equation x to the power 25 equal to 1, one way to solve it is to take the one to the other side and factorize it and this is a very important factorization so you will be you can use it in other problems as well so i'll tell you the factorization so it's x to the power 25 minus 1 equal to 0 so that's what we are trying to find out now this can be factorized as x minus 1 times x to the power 24 x to the power 23 up to x plus 1 equal to 0 and you can actually multiply this out and see that this is the case that is if you multiply these two things you will get x to the power 25 minus 1 back okay so now the question is to solve in order to make the left hand side 0 Either this factor is 0 or this factor is 0, right? Now, x minus 1 is not 0 in this particular case. So, if I plug in z in this equation, I know that z minus 1, this is not 0. Why? Because if it, if it was 0, if z minus 1 is equal to 0, this would imply z is equal to 1. Well, that is also a complex number, but its imaginary part is 0. Imaginary part is 0. Imaginary part of the complex number 1 or 1 plus 0i, the imaginary part is 0. But the problem says that the imaginary part of z is not 0. 
So z minus 1 is not 0. So the only other option, and you have to understand this very carefully, because one of these two must be 0 in order the, to have the product equal to 0. So the only other thing that can happen is that this part is 0. Right? So this part is 0. So what we got is z to the power 24 plus z to the power 23 plus up to z to the power 0 is equal to 0. This last one, I can write it as z to the power 0. right? So this is 0. That's what we got. So that's a strong first step. We are almost done with the problem. Because now, what we can do is that we want z to the power 0 plus z to the power 1 up to z to the power 2023. So we can break it down into pieces which are 0. So first piece would be z to the power 0 up to z to the power 24. That is 0. That's what we just found out. Right? Now if we start from z to the power 25 up to z to the power 49 that would again be 0. Why? Because, well, I can reduce it using the fact that z to the power 25 is 1. So, how do I reduce it? So, z to the power 25 is 1, which is again z to the power 0. Then we have z to the power 26, which is equal to z to the power 25 times z to the power 1. Now, z to the power 25 is 1. 1 so we this is just z to the power 1 so basically this is up to z to the power 24 z to the power 49 is z to the power 24 why because this is z to the power 25 times z to the power 24 and z to the power 25 is 1 you see what i'm doing right that this block from z to the power 25 to z to the power 49 is basically the same as z to the power 0 to z to the power 24 because you can extract a z to the power 25 from each of them and make it 1. Okay? So, then we have z to the power 50 to z to the power uh, 74 z to the power 50 to z to the power 74 that's again 0. So, each of these pieces are 0, right? Each of these pieces are 0. And you can easily check that the last one in this list will be z to the power 2000 up to z to the power 2023. And we don't know the value of that, but everything before that would add up to 0. These are just bunch of zeros. Right? These are just bunch of zeros. So we are only left out with this part. Now this part is also easy because if I add z to the power 2024 to it, then this sum would be zero. But I just want this much. I just want this much. I just want this much. So this much must be equal to z to the power 2000 up to z to the power 2023 must be equal to z to the power minus z to the power 2024 and you can extract all the z to the power 25s from here which are 1 so this is just negative z to the power 24 so that's the final value that's the answer so this is how you do complex equations you reduce complex equations using roots of unity what we just did in our math olympiad program or isi cmi entrance program american math competition programs uh, we talk about these things in the complex numbers and algebra module and one of the main topics in there is the roots of unity so you should definitely learn more about it and you should learn about this factorization that we just talked about this one, this is a very powerful factorization that is used in many, many problems. All right. 
So I hope you like this problem. If you have any questions, please suggest it in the comment section. And if you want to know more about Chinta courses, you can go to the link in the description and join us via WhatsApp for free. All right. I take care. Bye, everyone.